Right now, the radar showing a line of showers and storms up around the Big Bend. And as this line continues to move to the southeast later on, we'll get our own fair share of some wet weather. Unfortunately, it's going to time out with the evening commute. Right now, some pretty good downpours along I-10. Matter of fact, you see the yellow boxes. Those are severe thunderstorm warnings that are being issued there north of Lake City along 441 there between Valdosta and Waycross that will continue to move in the southern parts of Georgia. As far as our severe weather threat today, it's very, very low and it's basically the Caloosahatchee North. So we're looking at the northwestern sections of Lee County, all of Charlotte, DeSoto and Sarasota, but it's level one out of five. It is very, very low and it's just an isolated chance of a severe thunderstorm. Our main threat is going to be the gusty winds in and around the storms and the wind is going to gust long before the storms even get here out of the south to southwest. But by about three, four o'clock, we'll start to see that line move on shore. It will break apart, but the evening commute, you could be uh, dealing with some wet weather and then that will continue to pull on out towards the lake by seven, eight o'clock. As we look at our wind right now, Collier County has been leading the way. 21 mile per hour sustained in Naples, 17 in Marco, and we've had gusts over 30 and we continue to see that from Naples all the way down towards Marco and Cape Romano. 14 right now in the Cape, 19 in Port Charlotte. And as that wind continues out of the south here, it will pick up and start to turn a little more southwest and ahead of that front 30 to 35 miles per hour, not out of the question. And then watch what happens here around six o'clock. See the shift that northwesterly wind will start to clear us out. And by the evening hours, the rain will end, the clouds will move out and we'll start to see much drier conditions. Now, as far as that wind advisory, it kicks in this morning at eight o'clock, runs to 8 p.m. as the winds are going to be sustained there 20 to 30 with gusts up to 40 and those afternoon showers and storms. As far as what's behind the front, well, it's going to be warm. We're going up to 86 today before the wet weather moves in. We'll spend at least one night here in the 50s. That'll be Friday night into Saturday, and we'll see that low humidity, although it's going to get a lot hotter here, and eventually we'll be up around 90 to 91 for next Tuesday and Wednesday.